Ethiopian legend says the Blue Nile flows from the biblical Garden of Eden. It has sustained millions of lives for thousands of years. The Ethiopian government says its Grand Renaissance Dam will put an end to centuries of argument over sharing this life-giving resource. Construction began in April 2011. The Ethiopian government is paying for the $4 billion project in partnership with an Italian contractor. Sudan and Egypt were afraid the dam would restrict downstream flow, but an agreement was signed by the three countries in March. The agreement followed each country conducting its own study and analysis by international experts. Before we enter into the contract, we have already assured that this is an environmentally friendly project, this is an economically sound project. This will also benefit the downstream countries equally as it will benefit Ethiopia. The studies continue. There are numerous issues to be resolved, including the exact size of the reservoir and the time it will take to fill. When the reservoir is filled, it will stretch around 240 kilometers in that direction, well beyond the mountains that you can see there in the far distance. The area of water will be around 2,000 square kilometers. Now, the dam, as you can see here, is around 47% complete. And when that reservoir is filled, the water level will come up to around about where I'm standing. The government is giving money and land to around 4,000 families who have to be moved from this area. Kerede has farmed here all his life, but he now works on the dam for $150 a month. He's expecting around $4,000 from the government to help with the move. I hope we are going to benefit because I'm going to buy cattle, goats and maybe a house. Around 80% of Ethiopia's 96 million people work in agriculture and that's something the government says must change. So the whole purpose is to get out of poverty. That's our agenda. The transformation cannot be done with an agriculture. You have to move to industry. The dam will generate 6,000 megawatts of power, and there are plans to sell electricity to countries as far away as Spain and South Africa. The government says the dam will regulate a constant flow downstream throughout the dry season and will stop flooding during the months of rain. There are uh, studies that should be conducted, they have to be conducted, and the outcome definitely will guide us how to work together. A pledge to change the course of this river's history and to improve the lives of millions who live along its banks and beyond. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Western Ethiopia.